Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bhagerwal. Welcome to Salesforce. In this video, we are going to talk about insights in Salesforce Data Cloud. First of all, let's understand what an insight is. So it basically defines your data and helps to generate multidimensional metrics of your data. Now let's understand the types of insights which are available in Salesforce Data Cloud. So there are basically two types. One is calculated insight and one is streaming insight. Calculated insight basically works for your historical data and uh, the example is given here as customer rank by spend and whereas streaming insight works for your real time data and the example is click stream analysis or e-commerce or your transactions. Now there are uh, three ways to create a calculated insight and one way to create a streaming insight as you can see below here. So you can create a stream uh, calculated insight with via using builder or SQL or you can get it via and package from some other data cloud or now once you are on the calculated insight builder you would have some specific nodes that uh, uh, you can utilize to perform some actions in your insight builder so let's say uh, in this image a uh, unified individual data model object is selected and on the click of this plus icon i have six options that i can utilize so join is to join with some other data model object aggregate is basically if you want to find out some measures uh, on your data case is basically if you have different conditions that you can uh, that uh, you want to define that you can use uh, case over here then filters if you want to filter upon your data then if you want to use transform some if you want to perform some transformation you can utilize the transform and as well as there is there are some arithmetic expressions are also available now this is one of the typical example of uh, a calculated insight on the left side you can see it is starting from the sales order data model object which is further joined with the unified individual data model object via unified link individual data model object that is basically working as a junction object between these two data model objects then further filtration transformation aggregation case arithmetic expression and aggregate filter is happening in this calculated insight now let me uh, make you understand one thing here whenever you use aggregate then you define two things in aggregation one is measure and one is dimension now let's take an example you have data about your customers and there is one column in that data that talks about the uh, loyalty membership type and the values are there as gold and silver now i want to understand how many gold members are there and how many silver members are there to do that i would be using uh, aggregation over here and when i'm going to define the measure i'm going to define on the uh, i'm going to just uh, gonna use count on the uh, on the membership type field and uh, i'm just going to use the uh, the membership type field as the dimension so basically what it is going to give me it is going to give me uh, two uh, we can say two aggregation upon or two group by upon gold and silver value along with the count of uh, how many numbers are having these specific uh, membership okay so that is basically you just need to uh, understand about the aggregation you would be uh, needing to define the measures as well as dimension measures are basically what you are uh, calculating or uh, and dimension is basically how you are uh, doing the group by on that result so further uh, you can see here uh, the calculated insight creation using the sql on the left side you can see the available fields uh, already created insights as well as the functions which are available and on the right side you can see the typical uh, structure of SQL or SQL syntax for uh, create and calculate uh, create a calculated insight so it will it is going to start from select attributes or aggregation of measures from the data model object join on some data model object uh, and it is going to be followed with the on operator uh, and you are going to uh, you, you would be needing to match up on some uh, uh, some primary key and then further if you want to filter out the records you can put the where condition and as well as uh, you need to define the group by as well now the important thing here is 
join and where are not important here or are not mandatory here but group by is mandatory you would be needing to give here the group by because basically insights are uh, mainly we are going to do some aggregation using the insights so here also i discussed with you that you need to define the measure and the dimension so the same thing we are doing here at the top we are uh, when we are doing the select we are defining the measure and at last when we are uh, doing the group by then we that at that point of time we are defining the dimension over here so that is basically how you can uh, create calculated insight in your salesforce data cloud now let's talk about what happens once you have created the insights so in the cases of calculated insights you can utilize these insights in your segments and you can use the measures to filter out the records in your segments and further you can uh, activate your segments to uh, to make them useful for crm or marketing cloud or someplace else for streaming insight you need to define your data actions which are going to happen on some event you need to define the criteria or conditions on if the criteria or condition is matched then those data actions are going to be fired and uh, some of the examples of these data actions are like uh, a flow orchestration or uh, um, some event triggering on the uh, webhook like something like that so those are the things which comes after you have created the insight to uh, make them useful uh, for your orchestration purposes so that's all we are going to talk about in this video thanks for watching